handsome men's game, how to attract women. In this video, I want to dive more into the topic of how to act or behave as a man who is handsome. And as a handsome man, there are certain obstacles that you will face that makes typical dating advice irrelevant for you. Some of the things that you will hear simply don't apply because you are simultaneously carrying a unique advantage and disadvantage that other men don't have to strategize around. And the first thing to talk about is the idea that you need to avoid putting on an act of any kind. A lot of dating advice will tell you to act with irrational levels of confidence, even to the point of arrogance. They'll tell you to really embody the idea that you're the king. But when you're a good looking guy that stands out above the average already, this can be a detrimental move sometimes. The reason this can be a bad move is because of people's preconceived opinions of you before you even open your mouth. As I spoke about in my video about how you'll be hated as a handsome man, you will often be perceived as a player before you even say anything. But along with that, you will also be perceived as arrogant, cocky, stuck up, or too serious sometimes. Another potentially bad move is acting too cool or stoic in social settings. And, I'm, and I've noticed this with guys a lot over the years and I've been guilty of this in the past myself. Sometimes guys will screw this up on the opposite end of the spectrum and act too goofy, but if you look around at a club, you'll always see dudes on the outside of the dance floor standing around with a drink in their hand trying to look cool, but in reality, they're in the completely wrong headspace most of the time. On the contrary, the guy who is out on the dance floor dancing and not caring what anyone thinks about him will be the guy that pulls way more women than the dude trying to look stoic and cool on the edges of the dance floor, even if that guy on the edge is handsome himself. You have to keep in mind that your image is constantly communicating a message to people around you and that you must tune your behavior to counterbalance some of the incorrect messages that are being sent because people will often be misinterpreting you completely. While you are thinking that you're looking chill and cool, women are thinking that you look like you're having a bad time or that you're just too intimidating. You may even have women call you out on this as a way of trying to flirt. In years past, I've had women tell me to lighten up and have some fun when I've been at clubs or bars when I was younger, which at the time completely caught me off guard because I felt like I was already portraying an image of being relaxed and laid back, but they didn't view it that way. And oddly enough though, those women were also the women I ended up dating when I relaxed my vibe a bit and opened up my personality more in an authentic way and just being more careless in general. Now, outside of my own stories, I've noticed this with guys around me and even guys that are already getting women consistently. An example of this is I've worked around guys in the nightclub scene and in other industries, but you really see it in the club scene a lot with all the interactions that are going on nonstop and all the status games and you know, social politics that are happening in front of you. But I've seen guys that were really good looking or had high status or they have money and they really try to embody that image and really play up the arrogance or the cockiness or the confidence too much to where it's off-putting. And there's women that are genuinely interested in them, but they're pushed away because they're either too intimidated to talk to them or their, or their vibe just grosses them out. And that's the thing about it is that if you're a good looking guy, It'll open the door for women to want to talk to you or approach you, but if you open your mouth and you're just this really unattractive guy in terms of behavior or vibe, all you're going to do is just push women away and lose them left and right. And you're going to lose them to guys that may not be as good looking as you. They may not have as much money, much status, whatever it may be, but their vibe and their behavior is on point and they understand that and how to connect on an emotional level with a woman or just provide a fun vibe, which is another form of emotional connection anyway. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are expectations placed upon you when you are considered to be handsome. You are expected to be the smooth guy that is good with women. And if you open your mouth and fail at proving that, you'll be judged for it. And see, this is where I see a lot of discussion online that is wrong about being Chad or Tyrone. There's always this discussion going on about how looks are the only thing that matters and that the good looking guys get laid left and right. But that isn't true if your behavior and body language doesn't live up to a level that is equivalent to your looks. The key then as a handsome guy is to focus your efforts into optimizing your awareness of how you look and come off, as well as relaxing into a state of being that is laid back, inviting, and warm overall. This will usually be your most authentic personality that comes out as a byproduct of being relaxed and not trying to act a certain way. Ditch the stoic mugging for more smiling and laughter without being goofy, and ditch the cool guy act for relaxing and just being more friendly overall. Get rid of the need to have to put on a certain type of act and learn to embrace the moment and fully enjoy it as if it were all a game to you. It's the idea that if you are in doubt, relax and just be a friendly, cool dude. As a handsome guy, you are already starting off as a guy with expectations on you and a potentially intimidating aura. So it makes sense to soothe the nerves of some of the people around you and prove perceptions wrong by being the chill guy that brings a warmer energy to people. And don't get this mistaken with being soft or not exuding any kind of confidence whatsoever. It's just that you have to be aware of how your impression makes people feel and that will take some adjustment on your end sometimes if you ask a variety of people around you how they first perceived you when they met you 
you'll be surprised at some of the answers. You want to be confident and embody that masculine aura, but not push it too far into the arrogant zone, which can be tricky if you're already being framed a certain way. Think about it as being more charismatic and inviting overall. It can be tough to describe this, but celebrities are great to study and see this in action. And if you guys want, I can see if I can do some breakdowns of the behavior of certain celebrities. So leave a comment down below if you think that would be helpful and if you want to see that type of content. Another important element to be aware of is having a non-judgmental vibe about you. And this is one of those things that is critical to attract more women, but you will also have to be able to handle what comes with it. And by that, I mean that the more non-judgmental and cool you are with girls, the more they're going to open up to you about everything under the sun. And if you are too reactive or weird about it, they'll shut down and that's when the lies begin or they will straight up want to get away from you. Again, as a handsome man, expectations are placed on you. And if a girl can't open up to you, she can't feel safe. And if she doesn't feel safe, she can't emotionally connect with you or want to bond with you. It's also emasculating if you're this guy who looks like the man, but you fold and act like a pansy because you can't handle what a girl tells you, or you're just so self-righteous and judgmental that people are afraid to even try to relate to you. Again, be aware that you might already appear this way to people as well, even though you aren't that way. Having a non-judgmental frame to you is also charismatic. If you know anyone in your life that is truly non-judgmental towards you, you know what I mean. You automatically appreciate them and feel drawn to them for possessing that quality. So make sure it is a staple in your behavior with women. And that doesn't mean that you have to just sit there and tolerate women that live a shady life just for the sake of being non-judgmental. It's up to you what to do with those women. If you don't like the way she lives her life, then move on, but don't bother harping on her for it or giving off this image of being self-righteous. You won't change anyone and it just makes you look weak, especially as a handsome guy who is supposed to be good with women. Another great point that goes well with all of this was brought up by a creator by the name of Ron Wills. And if you haven't checked out his channel, I highly recommend it because he's been around in this space for a while doing videos like this for years. And he has a lot of great content. But Ron said that as a handsome guy, you should never try too hard. And he hit the nail on the head with that one. If all of this could be summed up into one general point, it would be to never try too hard to be anything other than relaxed, nonchalant, non-judgmental and warm toward other people. It's damn near impossible to go wrong with that overall frame as a handsome guy, unless you mess things up by saying something really weird. And one more thing I'd add is to be direct when it's time to make a move with a girl. If you wanna take a girl out, just be straight up about it. Beating around the bush as a handsome guy just looks suspicious because women already assume that you get other girls and they already know what you want as a man they just usually aren't sure if it's them that you want because they may be insecure about themselves due to your looks and your presence. So once again, it comes back to being relaxed and warm toward them, but adding in some intent and being direct to remove confusion from their insecurities. Remember that girls will doubt themselves around you and think that you don't want them or think that you only go for women that are hotter than them. Even if they play it cool and try to act like they're confident, a lot of the time you'll realize later that these women were actually very insecure around you and put up a front as a response. Being direct also reinforces your confidence and appearance as a handsome man. It confirms the expectations that others have of you and lets them know that you really are the guy they thought you were and that in itself is highly attractive to women. And make sure you check out this video next where I talk about some of the hate that you'll receive just for being a handsome man. And I will see you in the next one.